really think it was the tacos. Yeah, I was in the washroom for two hours, dude. What? We're rolling? Oh. Hello everyone, welcome to Fish for Thought. My name is Chris, and today we are going to be going over how you can make a emergency betta fish tank. Important to remember, we're not going for how good the scape looks here, but we're going to try to do everything in our power to make the most comfortable experience for the new betta fish coming in. It could be that someone dropped off a rescue betta randomly on you and you just don't have any tanks available right now. Or you know what, worst case scenario, you impulse bought a betta fish and you really need it to be in a tank ASAP because that little cup it comes in, that's not doing it. All right, so first things first, find yourself a beautiful, Better bowl. Now, what most beginners do not realize is that you should not be getting a glass bowl or an acrylic bowl, but instead a plastic bowl. This is because plastic is by far much more abundant in nature nowadays than glass or acrylic. And so that you can do this without it breaking. Now that we got that out of the way, we can find a tank that shows that the owner has some dignity and respects life in general by getting this 6.5 gallon rimless curved tank that I got from my local fish store. So you can stop axing me where I got it from. Next question. For you, I would recommend anything bigger than a five gallon in America and 7.5 gallon or higher in Europe because apparently they're better people than us. All right. No, for real, it's true, you can Google it. They have bigger recommendations for their tank size. Just. I don't know, George Farmer doing his thing, I, huh? We're still live? Yeah, so the next step is to find your favorite colored aquarium gravel, and in it goes. Yeah, you don't like this one. Actually, a good use of it is to try to scare the betta fish into not harming your shrimp in the future. It'll probably not work, but hey, worth a try. For this build, we're actually not gonna be using substrate in the traditional sense. Where do these things keep dropping from? Biofilter media for maximum surface area for the beneficial bacteria to grow. That's right, I'm a genius, folks. Write it down. <sighs> I work out though. This is what scissors are for. We're civilized, okay? You know what they say, strong men have small pee pee. You don't have to molest them like that. By the way, if you have pre-existing filter media that you can use from another fish tank, that would work perfectly. Kobe. Following our porous trend, we're gonna add in some additional surface area in the form of lava rock. Lava rock is amazing for escaping and for situations like this. The more holes, the better, because it grows more beneficial bacteria, which is good for your new betta fish that might not be doing so well. Remember, holes are bros. Now you say it. Good. We're gonna fill this halfway with water from the existing fish tank, and the other half will be dechlorinated tap water. Wow, it seems like pouring in the water has made a natural scape. I kind of like this. I'm going to keep it this way. And this is totally optional, but I'm going to add a nice piece of Anubius Barteri. The stone with a hole in the middle. In our case, it will hold this beautiful plant down, but it's really for other fish like plecos, corridors, and loaches, as they love to uproot your expensive plants. Feel free to skip this step, just like how you skipped your science fair presentation in grade eight. Thanks a lot, Max. Even without your help, we managed to get 90%. You're welcome. I put an extra sponge filter in another tank three days ago, and now it's loaded with beneficial bacteria. Perfect for a quick emergency tank. The reason why I'm using a sponge filter in this case is because it's perfect for a rescue beta tank. It provides so much more aeration, surface area, those are bros, without moving the water around too much. Because we know moving is already tough for a beta fish, especially if it's injured or struggling through a disease or there's something wrong with it. Next step, we're actually gonna make this a black water biotope or at least introduce some healthy tannins. Tannins are great and antibacterial and I believe antifungal. So it's perfect for this emergency tank. These are some hardwood leaves that are dried. These are some birch cones. You can use alder cones as well. In order to prepare these properly, we have to boil them. We'll simply be dipping the leaves later on when it starts boiling because we want the leaves to float, giving more cover for the betta from the light. Smells like a nice tea. Mmm. <sighs> Don't worry, this is just water. Toasty. The leaves we leave floating and the cones sink. Or they're supposed to. Worry not. All you have to do is give them a good shake down. Give me all your money. Give me all your money. 
floating plants help reduce the glare on your new betta fish even more and since they're from another tank their roots will hold a lot of beneficial bacteria and they're excellent at controlling excess nutrients nitrates and ammonia this is a twin tail male betta fish the twin tails are damaged but hopefully we can regrow them back he is looking quite energetic and adventurous even though his tail is damaged and he looks a little underfed hopefully he will be healthy and happier in no time i love when they're still scared of your finger instead of trying to bite it this is America. They grow up so fast. Cherish every moment. After acclimation, it's finally time to introduce them home. Bro, always the most satisfying feeling in the world, introducing the fish to its new environment. This fish is not in the least bit stressed. It's already looking around and curious. That is the perfect transition you want to see every time. We'll also add in some beneficial bacteria to speed up the cycle. But contrary to what is written on these bottles, dosing this does not necessarily mean that you can just put fish right away and skip the cycle altogether. But this is yet another step to give our fish a fighting chance to survive. And now the last step, the most important step, getting a betta fish friend for your betta fish. Absolutely do not get a betta fish friend for your betta fish. They can and will kill each other and then your family is next. But no, seriously, the taco from last night is still in my system. Are we done shooting here? Because I got a scoop. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, please smash the like button and subscribe for more. Leave a comment below. Let me know how I did. I'll see you guys there. I'll also see you in the next episode. Don't forget to get your hands wet. Better from the store, fit out the door. They call it rescue. I call it the floor. Rotten at the core. You don't know what you're doing. Psychopathic roller coaster. Who do you think that you're fooling? Who do you think that you're screwing? Leaving all these kids ruined. Screw your money. First mentality. We don't F with abuse. Tell them Tetra Gang. Only F's with bitch tanks with abuse.